Oh, how they do, peeps, and welcome back to the channel and to a vlog that I never envisaged doing because <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. And here is, I haven't got a clue, it's very unplanned, very impromptu, and I'm not on my own. I've got optical creator here, he's just over in the corner. But driving past, we are in the Lake District by the way, driving past, we pulled over, I thought I oh, will go for a little explore. Bit of woodland, it's supposed to absolutely bang it down this afternoon. So I thought we're getting to a woodland. Anyway, we've literally walked 50 foot from where we've parked the cars and come to this. Obviously, granted, there's no atmosphere, no nothing. It is very windy as well, so there's going to be some movement in the trees, let's say. But we aren't bothered with that because it's going to be about these mossy boulders. You can see one of the fells of the lakes behind, a little waterfall coming down. But what I'll do, I'll put you through the viewfinder and I'll show you what I mean by this. Right, as you can see here, it's all about these, these boulders in the foreground just here. So we've got these boulders just in the foreground. We have got a fallen tree just in the background over there, as you can probably see. Just over, just down there. We've got these trees on your left hand side, my right, up in the top. We've got the fallen tree in the background. We've also got another tree that's leaning. Make it up in your mind, it's leaning out of the frame or bring you back down into the frame. I'm taking it because I like it. <laughs> And because, for somewhere, this could be fantastic in autumn. So yeah, bit of a scouting, but yeah, as for the first shot, literally just got out of the van, parked up and come for a little wander. Yeah, <laughs> I'll bob it on now. Let me know what you think as we, I'll let over to see what, what Dan's doing, Optical Creator. So if you don't know who Dan is, Optical Creator, I'll link his description below so you can hop over to his channel and have a nose but yeah I thought I'd give a bit of woodland to go today so for the first image of this little wonder I'll bob it on now and come with us because we don't know where we're going we don't know what we're going to find so it's going to be a bit of both of us all isn't it <laughs> wander around here I just want to wish and thank you all especially all the new subscribers lately because at the minute the channel's took in a bit of a bit of a leap forward so let me just put this down I've got everything on the tripods at the minute I just want to say a massive thank you very much for that it's very much appreciated so yeah thank you for that indeed so yeah getting have a little oh wow 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 oh right Literally walked another 20 foot, 30 foot from where we were. Let's put this tripod down. There's got to be something here. Definitely. Because I'm going to show you. Look at this. All this moss here with these trees. The sun's just come out. Look down here. Looks like a couple of gnarly twisty ones just down there. Oh, look over there as well. Down there. A nice big one on some stones and stuff keeping out there. It is a very bright day, as you can see, but the rain's due, so hmm, hence we came in here. But wow, well, maybe I'll get one here. Look, these here, you could get a separation of that one there and looking through. Anyway, let me sort of work this area, see what I can get. Well, this little bit first, because I could get quite easily overwhelmed with all this. But I'm going to work one little bit at a time and then we'll start and plod his way around because there's some lovely twisty trees up there. So yeah, let's work this one, see what we can get from here and then I'll come back to you. Right then peeps, I've got sort of the first composition. As I mentioned earlier, I'm using the branches that come down to sort of frame the tree in the background. It is very mossy on the bottom. I am in at what? Ooh, about 60 mil. Just so I can cut all the sky out, it's all about these trees, is this? So, as you can see, 
let's go have a little wander. What I've done, let's park here and you can see what I've done. I don't want to step on this branch because I'm using this little branch just here as a bit of a leading line straight into it. Got all these branches all separated just so you can see that one in the background there. There's no sky, no nothing in it. But all this moss is absolutely fantastic. So I've been careful where I stand. There's a bit of holly bush. I don't even like holly bushes, but it's only small. It's only a tiny one in this image. But yeah, these fallen branches, all separated with the green moss. Oh yeah, my, my eyes are just bouncing all over at the minute. It really is. I mean, there's lovely twisty gnarly ones all down there. I think that does go off the edge, but I think we'll go around there next before we head up. So yeah, I'll bob this one up for you. And just let, let me know what you think about this place, because this is, oh, it's literally 50 foot from car park. <laughs> We've walked five minutes, if that. We said, oh, we'll have a little wander over here. And this is it, so I'll bob this one on now for you as we continue to have a little wander, because this optical creator, as you can probably see there, it's just peeped round the corner. So, give us a wave, Dan. There he is. So, yeah. I'm on this one on now, I think. was it middle of about the second image, I went, ah, forget that, come into this little bit. So, just keep coming, keep coming. Now, just stand here, you've got all that moss there, look. Look, seeing what he's going to think now. But not just that, just turn round. Directly behind me? Just keep looking round. Look up to your left hand side. <laughs> Everywhere you look around here. Not only that. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. There's more. Right. We've seen it all happen now. Look at that beauty. So, yep. You've just seen it now. That's where I'm going next, where Dan gets his bearings in this little lovely area. <laughs> so yeah, you've seen what you thought of it, walking straight through, because it was in the middle of an image around there. So yeah, let's see what we can do around here. Right peeps, now I've got set with a couple of compositions. This one, I'm quite tight in on it. Just getting used to this here. And getting the tree in. The hardest thing with this is the light. The light is yeah, a bit too bright at the minute. It is brightening the background out, but it is making this tree stand out because it's like got its arms hang out while branches. It's like, come on, look at me. So, but I'll pop it on anyway. Just let me know what you think. I've done two versions of it. One I've tried to use this little bit of a tree behind me as well, just to encapsulate it. I might even try and get a bit lower, see if I can get through this archway here. So yeah. Oh, I'll just take another now. Just while while that sun's gone in. So yeah. While that sun's gone behind that cloud, it'd be ideal. So it's not as bright in your face as such. So what I'll do, put these on now for you. We're gonna continue walking around because Daniel's a bit excited. <laughs> where you need fog to get rid of all that sky but yeah we'll have a little wander up here look there's a little track which we're following but yeah it's turning around look at this round here look at that one but yeah so all right i'm looking nice but can you get an image from it so so we're wandering on this part and if i do get up with something 
I'll come back to you. Which, yeah, a bit of a steep on this. So I'll come back to you in a bit. Right then, peeps. I've come across another one. Well, another two. <laughs> because I've taken an image of one part of this composition, but I've come back to include a bit more of it in. I'll put you through the viewfinder and you can see what I mean. At the moment, it is very, very bright because that sun's out. But that's roughly the composition at the moment. As you can see, I'm just taking into account, so what, I'm being very careful because this wind is horrendous at the minute. Getting this bit of rock in. Got this main subject here, just off centre, coming in. I've got all these trees, all these spindly ones on the left hand side. And it takes into account a composition that I took earlier. Just of that one there with these little group of trees. But I'll bob that one on for you. I'm going to work this one a bit more. And I'll bob this one on too. But this wind is really getting up, so that rain must be on its way somewhere. So yeah, I'll bob these up for you anyway. Just let me know what you think of this. But I'm very close to an edge, so I can't really go any further to the left. Well, I can, but I ain't gonna. <laughs> so yeah, I'll bob these up for you now. I said I'm gonna go near the edge. I'm near the edge. Got Dan just up here, <laughs> looking after me so I don't go over. But I'm just saying to Dan, Dan said he's struggling a bit. But why I tend to do a woodland, I try and find a frame to frame a subject in it. You're not gonna believe this, because this is a mess. <laughs> what we've got here, got this old fallen one here, resting on another one. Got one coming out of a rock just down there which is leaning back in, and another one coming out of the rock. The other thing I don't like about it, there's a road in it. Whether you can see the road or not in the image, I won't know until I get it in post. But as a framing image, and something different with this rock and that round here, yeah, I quite like this one. So settings wise, it's out of the window because this light keeps coming and going big time. It's blowing it out, underexposing, overexposing, so, Whatever I get with this one, I'll bob it on next to you. As you can see, on my knees. <laughs> we are making his way out of that little woodland that went for a wonder. I've just taken one. I was reading a stop, there were a little bird on one at roots, but it seems to have flown off now. But anyway, I've swapped lenses, I've got the 70 to 200 on. I'm banging at, oh, bang on 100 mil at the minute. But I am low to try and get rid of some of this foreground. I was turning around, you can see what I'm looking at. Just there, look. So we've got these roots just in the foreground here, cropped right in. I've just got separation between all these trees here. There's a bit of blank space on the left hand side that I probably will dehaze a bit. I put, put well, I won't dehaze it, I'll add haze to it just so it looks like, well, the light is coming from that side, but obviously I emphasize that in post anyway. But yeah, if this has worked, I'll bob this one on now for you. But yeah, just walking out, Daniel's taking the same tree but he's over at that side. So if you want to see his image, nip over to his channel. Obviously, all the links will be below. And you can see the difference between these two. So yeah, I'll bother something now for you. And just let us know what you think. Right, peeps, we're on a path. 
photography from a path. Would you believe it? But here you go. Daniel's still with me, look. We're still come for another wonder. But this is roughly the scene. We've got this old oak coming over from the right hand side against all this. There's a bit of light just hitting the background now. So I'm going to take it with that bit of light just so it gives it something different. All these mossy boulders as well. Just making something, yeah. Just obviously there's no fog, there's no mist, there's bugger all because it were an unplanned photography day. So what, what we'll do, pop this image on now for you. Let me know what you think about this because this is a place to come back to when there's some serious atmosphere. It really is, and literally 30 foot from where we've just been, so yeah. I'll pop this one up now for you and then just let me know what you think in the comments below. Side of me, and we are behind this big rock, <laughs> but we're not shooting that way, we're shooting this way because look at this first scene. I have done the panel all the way across as well, so you'll see that in a minute. I have well, what I'll do, I'll show you back in the camera. There we go, put you through the camera there. We'll just darken that down a, just a touch, and you can see what's what. There you go, that's roughly the composition we're working with. So I've got this little hole in the wall there. Got all these mossy walls, the rock, this tree coming up. We've got the wall coming through this side as well. So yeah, leading all the way through the scene. It is a complicated scene, but a, a nice muted one as such. It's gonna be very green. So yeah, <laughs> I think it could be his last shot anyway. So we are waiting for Big D to turn up because he's going to join us. So roughly told him where to follow the path to. So, but yeah, but for the time being anyway, end of this vlog. I'll end with these images now. Be very green, very in your face because that sun keeps coming and going like mad. It has really dropped cold at minute. So if you've enjoyed this one, unplanned woodland photography, give it a go. Because yeah, <laughs> we don't know where we've been, where we're going. But it's had been a right blast trying to find all these oldy worldy trees and all this mossy walls and stuff. So I'll end with all the final images and all that lot. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and I'll see you on the another one. Oh, I'll leave Optical Creators link down below as well so you can see all these images from the little... He's shaking his head here. Look at this. Go on. Why are you shaking your head? They're awful. They're awful. <laughs> He always says that, but yeah, I'll see you on the next one anyway, bye for now.